Well, we uh, learned of a new initiative uh, at Governor Phil Scott's uh, weekly news conference today. Uh, it aims to help municipalities still recovering from severe flood damage and the big repair bills that come with it. Yeah, it's all part of a local investment program to create economic development across the state. NBC5 Stephen Biddix is live in the newsroom now to explain how it works. Stephen? Yes, Liz and Stu, so we've seen funds from this program in the past go towards housing and social equity initiatives, but this time around they say it only makes sense for them to use it for recovering cities and towns from July's floods. $15 million will be given to the Vermont Bond Bank to create the Municipal Climate Recovery Fund, which will then be given out in the form of low interest loans. Save taxpayer money, uh, allow municipalities to continue to recover. The two main keys for this round of funding under the 10% in Vermont initiative. Through the program, the Treasurer's Office can use 10% of the state's average daily cash balance for economic development statewide. Today we're announcing $15 million of low interest loans through the Municipal Bond Bank for communities that were impacted by the flooding in July. Interest rates estimated to hover at 1.3% for a sub seven year loan and less than 1% for loans under five years. So this program is really designed to be a bridge for communities to get from where they are now uh, to the FEMA reimbursement that will come maybe six, a year, 18 months from now. The state experiencing millions in public infrastructure damage from the flooding, adding the loans will save taxpayers roughly $3 million, along with helping municipalities rebuild because right now, their current fiscal year budgets just aren't prepared for the kind of necessary spending. You might not have sales tax revenue coming in. They've had to abate property taxes. In addition to that, they've had to invest a little money in rebuilding roads. In total, statewide, we estimate that there's more than $75 million worth of damage incurred to wastewater facilities when you consider both treatment plants and the supporting sewer pipe networks. This all coming as municipalities are crafting next year's budgets. When you go to town meeting and vote your, your budget, uh, you'll see that, you know, the, the debt line. And this allows that line to be smaller so those budgets can account for other, other aspects of running the town so that we don't need to raise taxes or cut services. On Bond Bank is hosting a webinar next Tuesday to review timelines, application requirements, and answer questions. They're also encouraging interested municipalities to start reaching out as soon as possible. Live in the newsroom, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.